Broom, there's so many words to describe broom. Perfect, relaxing, you can really slow down and enjoy the great weather and spend lots of time at beautiful Cable Beach and Coconut Wells Beach. Broom is so easy to get around with lots of things to do, great museums, lots of history of the pearling industry with many pearl retail shops if you're into pearls. It's worth a trip out to Willy Creek for fishing and more pearls and pearl tours. Matzo's for beer and ginger beer tastings and a good meal. We love Broom, we didn't want to leave. After Broom, we stayed at several rest stops on the way to Onslow. But just a heads up, just because rest areas are marked on your maps, this doesn't mean they still exist, which happened to us a couple of times. And at the Onslow rest area, just wasn't one anymore. But we found a lovely area off the road behind a hill to camp at. So now on to Onslow. We stayed in the caravan park overflow area and although there was no grass, we had a beautiful cliff top view of the Indian Ocean. Onslow is well planned and very clean with a strong sense of community. There's a delightful community garden and great sporting facilities at the sports club, a museum, a pub with great food, a supermarket and a couple of other retail outlets. It's also one of the few places in the world where the sun rises and sets over the same beach. I love the green bird flower bush, which grows in this region. Each seed pod starts as a perfectly formed hummingbird attached to the stalk by its beak. Old Onslow Town is worth a visit, although there are very few buildings remaining there now. With no other accommodation being available due to Exmouth and Coral Bay being fully booked out, we stayed at Polara Station. It's not what we really expected from a cattle station. It's dusty, dirty, we thought it was cheesy. Something out of a movie set, not like a true cattle station experience. Maybe good for the non-season camper who just purchased their brand new Akubra hats. We called them the Akubra Lado set as they just hung around the cafe drinking Lado and eating scones. There were open air shower blocks, they call them the lava showers, but no lava in sight, just mainly cold water. So you have to time your showers and go early. Camp kitchen was very basic and dusty.
We used Valara as a base to go to Exmouth and Coral Bay where we spent most of our time. We had two bucket list items to do while we were here. Ham swimming with the whale sharks, which although we got to the boat ramp on the day, it was called off due to rough seas. So we missed out and we were very disappointed. I braved the rough seas and went on my fishing charter in open water. Although I brought home a couple of nice fish, a lot were bitten off by those pesky reed sharks. We especially like Coral Bay. It is a beautiful beach and snorkeling on a Ningaloo reef just metres off the sea. We left the North West Coastal Highway and headed down Highway 136 to Tom Price. Lots and lots of road trains in this area supporting the mining industry, so just watch out for your driving. Just outside of Tom Price we stayed at Tiger Eye Pool, which is a free camp. The mine tour at Tom Price is well worth the time and gave us a good understanding of Rio Tinto's operation and all the processes that are involved. We then headed down to Karajini National Park and set up in a free camp just outside the entrance of the park. Lots of gorges and spectacular scenery, so we're glad we took the time to duck down this part of the pilgrim. On our way out, we stayed at Oski Roadhouse. Good amenities, grass sites, power, water, good food at the roadhouse, and free washing machines, all for $40 a night. It's a well-run facility, and it was great respite after the two weeks of dust and dirt. We stayed at Port Hedland for a couple of nights before heading back to Broome. We stayed at Jillawalla, Hip Camp at Coconut Wells. And a shout out to Phil and Tony for their great hospitality and thanks for the lovely produce from their garden. We enjoyed our stay. <laughs>